Hi, this is Kevin for Pixavert.com. In this video, we're going to create this cool looking grunge border in Photoshop. You should be able to do this in any version of Photoshop. And uh, I'm going to have a link to the uh, grunge image that I use in the description. So we start off with this open image and I'm going to choose either the browse and bridge or the place command to bring in a new image. I'm going to choose browse and bridge and I'm just going to drag my new image in. And uh, what we'll do is that we'll rotate it 90 degrees so that it's the same aspect as the image I'm looking at. And then we just snap it to the edges like this. It comes in as, as a smart object so it uh, should be fine to resize it like this. We accept the transformation and then we turn down the opacity to zero. Next I'm going to go to the image, my original image and I'm going to click on the layer mask icon. That opens up the image from its original background layer status and as a layer mask. Next I'm going to create a solid color adjustment layer and make that white. You can change the color to whatever you want and we'll drag that to the back. So I'm just going to call that background and we'll call this image. On the image I'm going to click on the layer mask and I'm going to click on the image command and choose apply image. Now what you'll get is this kind of nonsense happening but uh, what we can then do is to go to the layer drop down and then choose the grunge image. So you're going to have your layers here, your background, your image and your grunge image. I'm going to choose my grunge image and that creates us a nice looking grunge border. Now what you'll see is that we've got the default settings there, blending, is it multiply, opacity 100%. What we need to do is to click on the invert and that gives us our, uh, gives us our grunge image. Notice that we can actually use this image here as a border itself. So I'm going to click invert and hit OK. And that basically is it. That's all we need to do to create our grunge image. Uh, we can change the color of the background to something else if we want to. And obviously if we come to the layer mask and hit Control I, that creates that other border that we can use with another image. So if I had another image I wanted to put in this area here, it could easily be put in again using the place command or, or, or by browsing in bridge. We could actually place another image inside of this border. So that's a very flexible apply image command. As I said, I'll have a link to the image in the description. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you found that useful. If you did, please leave a comment, rate the video, subscribe for new videos. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.